Hello, welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a homeschooling mum of three in the UK. And today is day seven of our not back to school week, which means this is the last not back to school week and video until next year. So today as I, today we are talking about our curriculum choices for 2020 and 2021. I have done things a bit differently this year. I'm mixing bits up, taking bits from here, taking bits from there, because of course I'm an eclectic homeschooler. So, first of all, we're gonna talk about literacy, English, however, language arts, whatever you want to call it. And we are using the good and the beautiful language arts. This is an American curriculum. The best thing about it is that levels one, which is about grade one, so kind of year one, year two, all the way through to level six, are free, free, it's amazing. So uh, this is actually just unit one, this big folder here, all this stuff, this is just unit one. We've also got, we've also printed off a little bit of, um, we've also printed off unit two, which is downstairs, and that should take us all the way through to our big Yule break, uh, where we'll be off for like three weeks, just chilling. Um, so these are really, really good. You can buy them printed, they will post them from the US. Um, you kind of have a, the idea is that you um, do just a lesson a day. And um, Charles has the reading age of an 11 year old at almost nine, uh, but he has the writing age of a child much younger. He hates writing, he's always hated writing, we've never forced it. And now he's starting to want to write things and it's like, my brain, my writing doesn't match my reading and it's really hard. So we're taking him right back and the reading stuff he's just going to zoom through, we're just going to keep, um, he's going to continue doing comprehension at the level that he is, and reading books at the level that he is, but the writing, we're going to take him right back to basics. So here is the lesson one, it's pretty easy, you read the bits to them, um, and um, for example, the reading here in the in the consonant blends, um, he's not going to go k, a, m, p. He's just going to read camp because he has the reading age of a child much older. Um, and he is probably going to read that story to me rather than me read it to him. Um, but yeah, so it's, then you've got independent practice at the bottom here, which is writing the words here. Um, it's just going to take him slowly through all of the English rules and by the end of unit one he will be confidently doing some writing by himself. In here you've got first sentences for stories and then by the end of unit two he'll be writing, the idea is that he'll be writing thank you notes by himself. Um, it's not just a sit down and write curriculum, there's cutting and gluing and little activities and stuff in it as well. It's some days they don't do any writing, they just do some reading or or some tracing or something and it really slowly goes through. I don't think it's fast at all. Um, as I said, this was free um, and all the way through to level six, which is probably about year seven, is also free and they don't go any higher than that um, at the moment. But by then obviously you'll be moving on to key stage three if um, and, and you'd be looking at like online high school, online senior school, um, or using books to prepare for what you know for that level of working so you wouldn't really want it to be used as anyway well, I wouldn't anyway um, so we're going to be using the good and the beautiful language arts it is a very Christian um, curriculum but I um, I haven't actually seen anything particularly Christiany in this bit it kind of has a Charlotte Mason feel to it which of course is a Christian based curriculum as well. Um, as, as somebody who's not hugely into that sort of thing, it doesn't bother me. We will just ignore it and move past it. If there's any tracing in any future bits that says, you know, is like Christian-y things, I will just change it. So, and for a free curriculum, I'm not gonna complain, so. And then we've also, we're also, Bessie is going to be doing the level K primer, which is like the step towards doing the level K um, bit. I have had to buy this because this one isn't free and the level K, the kindergarten, um, is not free either. Um, this cost me 
this so the the course book and then the reader book cost me about 15 pounds and it's well worth it um so they recommend that you start this k k primer when the child can sing most of the alphabet without help from a parent knows majority of the letters and their sounds but has not mastered all of them can count to 10 and knows basic shape and colors so that's Betty. And then you've got things like here, it's like, you know, where's the A, where's the T, where's the A, where's the T, and things like that. It's really easy to come in nice and gently. Then you've got some tracing to do. And so on. They're very short lessons. You know, lesson three here is just kind of one page or two pages. And I think that's really good for young children. And then the reader starts at um, lesson 21. So again, they're nicely eased into it. And then the first book is called I Dig. Really, really cute illustrations. And it's, you know, I Dig. Then the, it's I Sit, I Zip It, I Mix It, I Hit It, I Sip It, I Fix It. And that's the end. So it's a really um, easy books, easy book to kind of ease them in with sight reading as well as phonics. And I'm really excited to do that with them. So our next curriculum choice is, this is in line, this is a British curriculum and it is in line with the national curriculum. Uh, maths is not my strong suit. I'm not bad at it, but it's not, it just doesn't come naturally to me. So I do follow the national curriculum for maths. Um, just because it's easier for me in, to do that. Um, so Charles is doing the year two level books. Um, he is not a great lover of maths, um, and he, but he, um, he is he is good at it, um, incredibly good at it. Um, but there are gaps in his learning with stuff that he has struggled with. Um, money, time, and times, and kind of multiplication and division. Um, he's really struggled with that. So I'm taking him back a little bit, just to make sure he's really confident on the basic kind of year two principles. Um, he's not behind in the sense of where we started him. Um, we obviously, as I said in previous videos, we don't start them doing reception level work until they're about six or seven, depending on the emotional maturity of the child. So at almost nine, he is well kind of where he needs to be doing his third, going into his third um, year of formal education. Um, so he going into year two, which, you know, he's done reception year one, going into the third year um, is is absolutely fine. He's not he may be behind compared to a child who's at a school, but compared to mama school, he is perfectly on track. So I really, really like these books. This book itself, it, they, um, this is 2A, there's also 2B and 2C, and um, I haven't bought those yet because I don't need them. Um, but this book, this pra the um, practice book they write in was only $1.99. Um, and obviously the textbook, which was $6.99, I will keep ready for Bessie to do when she gets to that point and then Albert to do as well. So um, I won't need to buy this particular one again. Um, the textbook is really, it's a bit hefty, but it's really, really colorful. It's really engaging. And uh, I like all the different characters and stuff and they've na that all the characters have names as well and you kind of get to know them throughout the whole thing. And the book, the practice book, is not as colourful. It is in black and white, but I mean, for two pounds, what to expect? Um, but it's, it's, it all you know coincides, and the textbook will tell you which page to do. Um, and again, um, it, it it slowly takes them through. It's not really speedy. I do, and I do really like it. So we, and I've got Bessie's reception level ones on the way, um, as well, which I'm really excited about. So the final thing in our main curriculum is this, and I did talk about this in our looping basket, um, which is Exploring Nature with Children. It's by a really wonderful person in Seddon, and she's got amazing resources on her website. Um, this is just the autumn bit, which obviously is all we need right now. I think I have winter printed off already as well. Um, and it's, it's very basic in here. It's not difficult to manage at all or anything like that. Um, so it'll tell you it's like equipment needed for the season, 
and then it jumps right in. It's one of these curriculums that you don't have to, um, you can just pick it up. If, if you do it one week and then you don't do it for another three weeks, it's really not a problem. Um, so for example, September week one, which is what we will be doing this week, um, is a seed week. So it says, um, it's talking about looking for... So, for example, this week we will be doing week one, uh, which is seeds, and it talks about, you know, different trees and plants that you can see and different seeds that you can collect, and um, it talks about how seeds travel away from the parent tree and so on and so forth. And it has information in for you to impart onto your children so you don't have to sit there and go oh i need to do all this research or anything like that you know that information is there in this book for you um it also does suggest a book called the handbook of nature study um that is again a charlotte masony book and um that is got a lot of information in it. it's also got um, a book list which you don't again it does it does that just adds the curriculum you don't have to worry about doing it if you don't want to um so a poem to read to your children about the theme and there's a piece of art to enjoy as well that again is um it ties in with the week um and this particular one is squirrels in a tree by archibald thorburn 1860 to 1935 watercolor england painted in 190 um 1903 and then there's extension activities for older children. So it says um, putting your seed collection on a nature table, make a nature picture of your own design, um, do a floating, you know, a floating stock on clothing, flutter an experiment for different seeds, write a story about a traveling seed, labeling seeds on some hard cardboard, um, and so on and so forth. And then it moves on to mini beast week, and then you've got so mini beast week then you've got loads of extension activities the harvest moon you've got um hike no, hike is the autumn equinox you've got um and then going into october you've got autumn leaves and so on and so forth it's really 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 good um we will take this with us in our nature bag um, as you saw yesterday and yeah we're just um, we're really really excited to get stuck in with this we are going to be doing this with a couple of other families um, there is now a big group in our area of people who are doing it which is really exciting and we're going to be doing um, with a couple of families on Fridays so it's we're really excited to get stuck in and to just chill and have fun with it rather than um, a nice it's nice it's informal and it's fun so um we well that's what the, those are the bits that we are that's our main curriculum and obviously you saw back on our looping basket video the other bits of curriculum that we will be using for definite um and obviously we talked about um the project planning and you saw me doing some project planning um on on here um and our other bits so we've got you know history geography cooking art science and all of those things are in our looping basket as we saw the other day and when we've got the other bits in here um to go with the nature study so this was the nature journal that i told you about in the looping basket and obviously it now makes a bit more sense now you've seen the curriculum so um the um the task in the nature journal says sketch some fruits and seeds that you collected on your nature walk label each one with its name as you know it and um any special features that you may notice can you describe these features in your own words um and yeah there's there's other things there's the poem that was in there it's asking you to trace it um and then and so on and so forth you've got you know all this is like a massive ex um, extension activity um, for each each one. The other things that we are using this year are on the tablet. So um, one of the things we absolutely love is this app, uh, Mathematics Skills Builders Primary. 
We have a fractions, a times tables, and a shapes um, one. This, uh, they all kind of complement each other, um, but they have um, reception, year one, year two, and year three, and you can have different profiles for each child. Um, we uh, will be using this for uh, both Bessie and Charles. Um, Charles hates the sound of the woman on here, so it has to stay muted. But you can also change the country that you're in, so you can have England, um, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, which is really handy. Um, we will also probably be using um, Teach Your Monster to Read it's upside down. This is with the Osborne Foundation as well um, and again you can log in and you can control kind of um, control what they what they have on there um, and kind of what level they're at and things like that which is really helpful. Uh, we'll also be using Letter School for some of the, for some of, for a couple of them, probably Bessie and Albert, it's not gonna load now, um, but it's like a tracing app so they can trace their letters and numbers. Here we go, it's loading up now. Um, it's a really cute little app. So you've got learn to write shapes, um, you've got capital block letters. Um, we haven't got, the, we've got the light version, we don't have the, um, don't have the full version but there's also this cursive as well as print so I'll just give you a example of it so you've got this look it goes down there's like little Pandora beads almost it's really cute and then you've got the next one which you need to do yourself boop 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 so we go, this one's a little firework and it all just, it's just like burning it down. <laughs> it's really cute and it really helps them with their forming of their letters, all of them have liked it and still even Charles enjoys doing it sometimes. Little fireworks and then finally you need to do it yourself. I didn't do it right then. There you go. So it's kind of training them to write the letters. We really, really like it. Uh, we will be getting the full version rather than the light version as well. Um, the other thing that we will probably be using is um, potentially we'll be using the reading eggs. Um, app I haven't got that on here at the moment because I haven't got a subscription so there's no point in keeping it on here um, but the other thing that we really enjoy which is um, a science app here it's again it's this is a US app and it's called play and learn science so you can just go on here and got a water wall look for example And it's giving you so it's giving you different this all day but yeah it's a really really fun way of experimenting with science but without uh, without all of the mess and the work it has quite a few different things on there and the other thing that we are going to be using is mystery science as I mentioned earlier and we have got um, it's um, grade K to 5, so that's kind of reception year 1 all the way up to like year 5, year 6. It is on a website. Um, and you can go onto the lessons here. 
intro introduction to science and you have all of these things it gives you the ages 5 to 12 5 to 12 5 to 6 5 to 8 6 to 9 8 to 11 and 9 to 12 and so on to give you an age and there are some things that you can't access without subscribing but it's 36 pounds for a whole year um it's really really good you've got um chemical reactions all the way down here which we might use um later on our, po our magic potions are really real dissolving uh, dissolving and particulate nature of matter you've got weather sun moon and stars light and sound materials weather and climate forces motion and magnets there's loads of things on here it's a really good science curriculum with videos and um activities and experiments it takes you through all the things you need and things like that and it's brilliant we love it um so that comes to the end of our curriculum choices for 2020 and 2021 Thank you so much for joining me for my first ever not back to school week. I've really enjoyed doing this and I've really enjoyed pumping out the content every single day. I cannot wait to share all of the other things that are coming up over the next few weeks and months with you. We've got some really cool stuff planned. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. I do do a happy dance, as I've said before, every time I get a subscriber. And we're now at over 200, well over 200. It makes my day and I'm so thankful and grateful for all of your support and your love and your comments and your DMs and your emails. I absolutely love them. So keep them coming, uh, keep in touch and have a great back, not back to school week yourselves. See you later, bye.